More full coverage. I'm gonna go a little dramatic. Super little highlight. This is so important. Like so. Here's the hard part. Ta da! Go to Tim's. Hey, hey, do you? Do you want to go to Tim's? Yeah? Pop, pop. Okay, let's go. But good morning. Today, I have to get my driver's license. I don't have any makeup on, so I don't. I'm praying that they're not making me take any pictures or anything, but I'm super hungry. I'm gonna go to Tim's, and it's also, we're celebrating my brother's birthday today because it's his birthday June 10th. Gemini, same with my sister Gemini, she's June 3rd, but he's gonna be at his house, so we're celebrating today. Hi, 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 hi. This is Grandma, say hi, Grandma. I have a few. Hi, Grandma. The scary closet with all the shoes. You love the smelly shoes. My mom doesn't like my outfit. No, Service Ontario. <laughs> I don't wanna go in like that with, no, with your dress like that. <laughs> this is my updated outfit. <laughs> I knew you're coming. I knew I knew. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I don't care. I'm getting the Justin Bieber Timbits. Hi. Can I get a farmer's wrap and a medium ice cap and a plain Timbit? That's everything. Okay, thank you. You didn't even want an ice cap? No, I just had one. Oh. Lou's gonna get her Timbit. Woo! Hello. Here you go. I like your earrings. They're cute. Oh really? Is that three piercings? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello. Say hello. Thank you. Have a good one. This is for you. Here. Come Blue, come. Come. Oh, everybody loves you. Should I give it to her now? We're just dropping her off. Give her a little piece. Make her do at least one trick. Oh, you didn't even make her do a trick. She has to earn the Timbit. She has to do the tricks. Oh, you keep giving it to her. Mom. That's why she probably begs from you when, when you have food. You're the weak link. You always give her food. That's why they always like their grandparents. Oh. <laughs> We've done it. No photo required. Yeah, with the I paid thirty dollars. I missed you. Okay, time to do makeup. Okay, so my idea for today's vlog, basically my mom told me, she's like, you need to get a new ID. And in my head, I'm like, okay, I need to take a new ID picture. I'm so excited, I need to update it because the one that I have right now, I have blonde hair. And I just know that I could do better. This is what it looks like. <laughs> and I feel like my hair part is like not straight. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. So I thought for today's vlog, I would do kind of like a, how I would do my makeup if I were to redo my driver's license photo. I wish that I could redo my driver's license. I don't know when, how often you're supposed to redo it, but I'm not even mad about, this one's not like not that bad. I'm not oily, I'm not greasy, and that's really all that matters. I have my lashes on, she's cute, whatever. But I have, being in the industry where you're constantly taking photos, being in, you know, Getty image photos where like you can't edit it and like it's out of your control. I have learned so much about taking photos and how to look snatched in other people's photos, AKA the DM fucking me. <laughs> so I thought that I would do a get ready with me for a passport photo or an ID photo or any photo. So I don't know if I like this bow on it. I think I'm gonna take it off. I don't know, kinda like it plain. I can't decide. Anyways, let's get right into it. Normally I would just start out with a moisturizer. Wait, oh, this is all my makeup. Clip your hair back because how tragic would it be if you have a beautiful face and you have foundation in your hair? <laughs> I'm gonna do a primer. I normally like to start out with moisturizer but I already moisturized my face this morning. But I always feel like the more moisturized your face is, the smoother your face is gonna look. When I have dry, like flaky skin, that's when my foundation looks awful terrible so bad but it's not too bad right now so I'm gonna start out with primer next up foundation I'm gonna use a Fenty Beauty one but another good one that everybody loves is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter it is more expensive but it's really good the only thing is I feel like it's a little too dark I mean it matches my body I don't know why my face I haven't even self tan I don't know this is in the shade 280 just to even out a zip complexion I'm gonna wet my beauty blender I feel like since Olivia came out with a driver's license photo, it's been like a challenge to have a nice driver's license photo. Tell me one person that cared about their driver's license photo before the Olivia Rodrigo song. Like nobody was posting their driver's license photo on Instagram. I feel like it just became a thing recently, but this is pretty full coverage. Like everyone I know, even all my friends, they're like, don't look at my driver's license photo. It's scary. 
<laughs> now I always see all the driver's license photo and makeup tutorials on TikTok and everything. Woo! We're full coverage. I put on a lot all the way to the neck because they go all the way. You know what I wonder? I wonder if you did like crazy, like colorful euphoria makeup, if they would tell you to take it off at the DMV. <laughs> I've never heard of that before, but that kind of makes sense because like, it's your ID, but like also let people live. Next, shape tape. I used to put shape tape absolutely everywhere, but now I only really put it underneath my eyes like this. And then any leftovers I'll like put on my forehead or on above my, where my mustache is. Also, the passport photo, driver's license photo is grainy as f so it doesn't matter how cakey you are as long as you look good. It looks good. <laughs> You ever do that? You ever like, you feel like you look a little cakey, but you add a little grain? Everything's solved. They're just naturally like that. Ta-da! And I've been getting into cream blush and cream bronzer, but I don't know why I'm not loving it recently. I just feel like it's so harsh. And also, you know what I don't understand? Why do we need cream bronzer? And then I've seen on TikTok, people will put powder bronzer on top of the cream bronzer. And they say that contour is different than bronzer. I mean, it is, but I feel like it serves the same purpose. I don't know. Whenever I do cream bronzer, I'm always like, ugh, I should have blended that a little bit more and I'm gonna go a little dramatic especially on the contour of the chin just so that it's really defined in the photo because I feel like this isn't like real in-person glam this is like full-on makeup studio glam so I like to be a little dramatic but I wonder if that's happened to anyone like has anyone ever gone to the DMV and then done their makeup super dramatic like what if you put like really crazy rhinestones and like there's all this like crazy patterns where they tell you to take it off we're gonna do natural natural maybe like a wing of course, contour the nose. I like to do it kind of dark and then I blend it out with my beauty sponge. A little blending brush. I feel like this, this look is not about the glow. It's not about the highlight. It's actually the opposite of highlight. It's like matte as f You want to be matte as f even I think I saw Kylie Jenner's driver's license photo and her, she's just like super neutral, super matte makeup look. No glow, absolutely no glow. Cause it just does not capture well on camera. <laughs> Here I'm kind of blending it out. I try to have like a, a small teeny tiny itty bitty line. Okay. And now blush, I don't want to look like a clown. I'm not going to put a lot. Sometimes I like to put a lot, but today is not the day. Today is not the day to put on a lot of blush. Lightly, don't want to look like a clown. I feel like the vibes is matte and neutral. A little bit on the forehead, whatever's left over on the brush. Maybe if we're feeling crazy, a little bit on the tip of the nose, super tiny on the tip. And I'm just, I'm holding it on the very end of the brush so that I have a light hand. I feel like when I'm like this, I can be kind of heavy, but when I'm like this, I can have a lighter hand. And then super little, super little highlight, okay? I'm gonna get my promise ring highlight and highlight my nose. Super little, the bridge, and then the inner corners of my eyes. Yes. <gasps> now, this is so important. Powder. Powder. I feel like it's gonna be your best friend with any sort of photos. I don't know, do they use flash at the DMV? Flash photos, any photos, powder is your best friend. But you don't wanna be flashback Mary, so make sure you're using the right powder. I like to do the sides of my nose just to snatch it, and then also right under the eyes, maybe a little bit up. Oh my god, I need to tell you guys a funny story. Basically, my toxic side comes out. I feel like I can recognize when I'm being healthy and I can recognize when I'm being toxic. So my toxic side was coming out. Basically, Brianna had this fling with this guy. I never really liked him, but she apparently really liked him. I don't know. I feel like as you're a girl best friend, you should just never like who they date. <laughs> No one's ever good enough for your best friend. I'm just the protective best friend. So this guy has treated her like shit over and over and over again. And every time I'm like, why are you dealing with this? Literally, why are you dealing with this? Like he is a literal dust particle in your life. Like he should not even be able to like contact you. Like the shit that he's done to you, like literally f him. He does not deserve to be in your life. He needs to be cut the f out. So she finally got out of her digmatization. She got out of her hypnotization of the dick and realized how bad he was treating her and finally blocked him. I'm like, oh, period queen. This is what we need. We're moving on, on to the next. Thank God that one was bad. The next thing you know, it's I think like a month or two later, she gets a text, not from him, but from his friend saying, hey, this guy needs his stuff back. Is there any way that can you just give his stuff back? And I'm like, Keep in mind, the things that he's, he left behind is a shitty pair of sunglasses and a transponder that you can just get for free. <laughs> and he left it. She didn't even take it. He left it here. So I was like, f*** him. It's literally a cheap pair of sunglasses and a transponder. He'd get it for free. Like, literally, f*** him. Like, do you know the amount of times that I've had hookups and I forgot my stuff there and I've never gotten it back? Like, it's a common thing. It happens all the time. So I was like, f*** 
him he doesn't need his stuff he could get new ones like he's just this is just an excuse for him to talk to you like like you blocked him like this is his only way of like being able to talk to you and you just got over him like there's no way that you should see him again ever also he treated you like shit and he's asking for a favor absolutely not and then i was in a silly goofy mood and i was like wait i have an idea and she's like what i'm like wait what if you do give him his stuff back she's like huh i'm like but with a scavenger hunt she's like okay i'm listening i'm like you make a scavenger hunt all around town all around the city be like this is our first day go to our first day go here go here go here and if you really want your stuff at the end of the scavenger hunt here's your shit if you really want it <laughs> because it's literally a shit pair of sunglasses and a transponder that you can get for free for the highway and we were like laughing so hard i was like oh my god i just thought of a clue go to the place where you made me come oh wait you never did so actually go to this place <laughs> And we were just like high on life brainstorming and having fun with it. But it really made me realize I have my toxic traits. She actually did it. She actually made the scavenger. <laughs> I can recognize when they're toxic, but I only inflict my toxic traits on my best friends with their consent. Because I, I am in kind of like a thing right now. And it, I feel like it's healthy. You guys saw my Instagram post. I don't know. I just feel like at this point in my life, I like for things to be just private, but not a secret. Oh my God. I didn't even explain what I was doing. I just do my brows. I feel like everyone does their brows the way that they want. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. Super black, Tarte, so fine eyeliner. But if anybody crosses me, bitch, you bet your ass I can be toxic. When I choose, when I choose. If I don't feel like it, I don't have to. If you piss me off and I don't feel like it, I don't have to. But if I feel like it and you, I feel like you have deserved the toxic, it will come out. <laughs> Am I proud of it? No, but it's entertainment for me and my besties, and that's all that you can ask for, right? Anyways, I'm gonna curl the lashes. I'm gonna put on fake lashes. Where are my fake lashes go? Oh, they're the bathroom. I'm gonna get black liner and line the tight line. I don't think you'll recognize this in the photo, but I do think it does make your eyes pop a little bit more. Curl. I wanna do the little Madison Beer, like, cat eye little wing on the inner corner too, but I'm gonna do that when I brush off the big. That's like my last step, because it's such a tiny line. And Essence Mascara, I got this on TikTok. Everyone loves it on TikTok. I like the waterproof one, but the waterproof is just so hard to take off at the end of the day. And it's so cheap at Ulta. Ulta needs to come to Canada because honestly, Shopper's Drug Mart is not hitting. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's Brianna. I thought I was gonna get murdered. And then a little bit on the lower. How is a sweat and tonic? So fun, dude. I wanna do that every day. Was it your first time going? Yeah. Oh, really? I went to, it was called um, Club Ride. Yeah. It was literally a nightclub, but like uh, you're on a bike. Yeah. That's how Soul Cycle is. It's I've so cute. Been, I've never been to anything like that and I'm obsessed. Yeah, it's super cute. I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Like, it didn't even, like, working out, I like dread, but that dude, he was like yelling motivational sh. I know, they always do that. Was he gay? Ah, uh, maybe, yeah. I love the gay instructors. The gay At one point, he called himself daddy. Oh, <laughs> he's gay. I love the gay instructors. I don't know if he actually was, but. No, was they're my favorite. Time. I Love that. I <laughs> lashes. I just got these on Amazon. They're so cheap on Amazon. I literally, I'm never buying eyelashes from the drugstore ever again. First of all, these are so much better than the ones at the drugstore. Like the band is so much better. The only thing is it's a little bit short for my liking. So I cut off the inner part like, like two... Oh, two little rows of lashes like so and I always always use black eyelash glue You need to use black eyelash glue the clear eyelash glue. They're always like, oh, you're not gonna see it It dries invisible. No, it doesn't it literally doesn't it doesn't dry invisible like it looks like you've come in your eye It's not cute. Nobody likes it black is the way to go. So black eyelash glue always here's the hard part I let it dry so it gets tacky. That's the that's the whole secret of doing eyelashes. You have to wait for it to get tacky. If you put it on while the glue is wet, it's gonna take. It's gonna be so hard to put on. But when it's tacky, that's how you know. And I saw this makeup by Mario TikTok. He puts the outer corner of the lash a little bit higher, not exactly on the lash line, for more of that like cat eye look. Ooh, come on. Oh, see, this one does not look tacky. Ah! And I always make sure the inner corners, always make sure the inner corners are on. You don't want her flying off and you have like inner corner up uh, in your ID picture. Ha! Now I'm gonna brush off the bake. I feel like the way that I could tell if a bake is gonna give you flashback is if it's yellow or pink, it's normally good, normally. But if it's white, stay away from those motherfuckers. Don't do the white, not the white baking. And then for my lip, I'm gonna use Kylie Lip Kit in Candy K. I like to overlie my lips, so I'll go over on the middle part, not the outer part, because then I'm gonna look like a clown like that. And normally I would moisturize my lips before I start my makeup routine, but I'm kind of in a rush, so I uh, you know what, crusty lips, ta-da. And then lastly, set it spray. I use the all-nighter. 
But the NYX one is also really good. And then normally I would put a gloss on, but not for the photo. The photo is gonna look so glossy, so I would just do a matte. I love the Ulta lip gloss, but I'm not gonna do it right now. But this is the final driver's license photo. Also, the hair. The hair is also really important. I, I feel like I like to have my hair however you normally style it. Make sure you're having a good hair day. But it's a super matte, super chill, not too crazy makeup look. I think it'll look super good on camera. No shine. Absolutely no shine. But it's my brother's birthday, June 10th, so we're celebrating tonight. We're gonna go to Red Lobster. I think my family's on their way right now. So let's go to Red Lobster. I'm so excited. The biscuits. <gasps> I hope that they already have the biscuits. Me and my family, I swear we like to order the biscuits and then we also like to order more so that we can take it home. Ugh. And they have the biscuits. I'm pretty sure at Costco. <gasps> I'm taking it home though. I don't care. She's free and I'm taking it home. Woo! Whoops. Red Lobster! Makeup. Still looking matte and fresh. <laughs> Happy birthday! You didn't save any for me. We're gonna get more. Gonna I get told more. you to save one for I, me. I, I didn't bring it after, uh, we're gonna get more anyway, so it's okay. Wow. Look <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, at my story. What? Are the lobsters? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's better than, than, what's the other one? Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Oh, oh like, yeah. Yours is a kid's one. It's so good. Yeah, I've ordered this shrimp. my whole life. Popcorn shrimp kids bed you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Braden. Happy birthday to you. Blow it out. Make a wish. Woo. I told my brother to race, and my mom goes, Stop it. You can't afford another ticket. <laughs> We're winning. Woo! I realized I forgot to end this vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's merch shout of the day goes to Ashley Noel on Instagram. She's wearing her I Don't Chase I Attract merch. She's wearing the hat and the crew. She looks so cute in. It isn't sold out yet. You can still shop. Link down below. It's just AdelineMorn.com. And then today's tip of the day goes to Adeline TXU Sunshine on Instagram. Their tip of the day says, remember, life is like a picture. If the picture is bad, it's not you that looks ugly. The angle that you took, it's the angle that you took it from. But I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next next daily vlog tomorrow same place same time with you guys bye, bye.